are my seekers of knowledge doing? Uh, Dad, how am I supposed to find out what political party David Crockett belonged to? Well, he was elected to Congress as a Democrat, but then he was re-elected in 1833 by the Whig Party. Wow, how did you know that? Easy. You've got the same textbook Kip had. Oh. <laughs> hey, guys. Do I look like a real soda jerk? <laughs> well, you're half right. Hi, everybody. Hey. Hi. Hi. Career day? <laughs> what is this? I fill in for a friend and everybody jumps all over me. Darn, and I was going to ask him to babysit tonight. Any volunteers? What about Kelly? She sat with the Binkley four-year-old last week. Yes, but that wasn't my four-year-old. Hey, but the Binkley kid's still breeding, isn't he? Well, I guess if Kelly can sit for other families, she can sit for her own. Who knows? Maybe she'll even take our check. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Well, I feel lucky tonight. I sure hope Lumpy brings more than five dollars. Fever, wait a minute. You were a philosophy minor. Let me ask you something. Descartes came up with a method of universal doubt to find out what ideas could be used in order to form the basis for a unified a priori science. Now, do you think that cognito ergo sum is a logical extension of that? And if so, why? If I give you all the answers, how will you ever learn anything? We'll definitely be home by 11. Now, here's the number where we're going to be. Dr. Tokar's number, the fire department, the paramedics, and the poison hotline. Are you sure you wouldn't feel more comfortable hiring a security guard? Now, Kelly, I want Kevin in bed by 8 o'clock sharp. Make sure he goes to the bathroom first and leave a light on in the closet because of the M-O-N-S-T-E-R. Monster! Uh, hey, that's okay, Slugger. We just got Kelly a new bottle of Monster Potion. <laughs> Hey, listen, honey, you're uh, getting paid to babysit tonight, so uh, stay off the phone, huh? And uh, no company. Sure, Dad. I'll call everybody and cancel that rodeo. Now, <laughs> Kelly, if you have any problems... Hey, come on, dear, let's just... go, huh? Well, but... We're well, gonna be late. Come on. Come on. Have All right. a great time. Goodbye. Okay. We'll see you later. Can I have some ice cream? Not now. Read me a book. Later. Can I sleep in my underpants tonight? No. Boy, you do know how to babysit. Who's there? Yo, it's your lover boy. Come on, open up. Thought Ozzy and Harriet would never leave. You've been hiding in those bushes for close to an hour. Duffy, you're not supposed to be here. Come on, Kelly. I dig you. You worship me. I'll be out of here before your parents get home and... Everybody's happy. I don't know. Now look into my eyes and tell me you really want me to leave. Oh, Duffy. <laughs> Isn't it about time for the kid to say hello to the Sandman? Oh, you're going to have to be a little more patient. Come on, Kevin, let's go take a bath. You have to catch me first. <laughs> Care, don't you? Uh, thanks for inviting us. Yeah. Hey, 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 there's my main squeeze. Oh, uh, Duffy, dear, can I speak to you alone? Sure. <laughs> what I tell you? She can't keep her hands off me. Where did all those people come from? Oh, well, I think Karen's from Albuquerque, and Josh is... <laughs> Get them out now. My parents are going to kill me. I can't. We ordered pizza. I'm going to go upstairs and put Kevin to bed. When I get down, I want everybody out, including you. Broads. Hey, gang, listen up. Sorry, but we're going to have to cut this bash short. Our hostess is a little under the weather, 
so she's making me throw you out. Oh, oh come on, come on. Hey, don't kill the messenger. We'll do it another time. Yeah, sure. Come on, you heard the man. Let's go. Oh, Hey, Ali. That means you too? No, you don't get it. I had more right to be here than you. You see, she's my cousin, and I put in more for the pizza than anybody. Ollie, pal, I didn't want to come right out and see it in front of the skirt, but uh, me and Kelly want to be alone, you know? I get it. All right. Uh, Karen, have I ever shown you my treehouse? Oh. <laughs> doing here enjoying the scenery sometimes i forget you're in the slow reading group when i said everybody out i meant everybody let's dance look it took me long enough to get my parents to trust me enough to babysit and i don't want to do anything to mess that up i know that sounds square to you and even though i dress really hip deep down i'm still an old-fashioned girl <laughs> shut up and kiss me Pizza! All right. <laughs> Duffy, Duffy, wake up, wake up! Dad, I didn't do it on purpose. Come on, you gotta get out of here. It's after 11. Wait, how'd the tape end? With the FBI warning. Come on, you gotta get out. Call you tomorrow. Okay. My shoes. Hey, Kelly, you see the other one? I'll mail it to you. Here it is. No! Uh. Don't go! Whatever you say, Delphi. No! You gotta get out quick. The side door. We expected you to be in bed by now. So how's the slugger? Oh, he was a little angel. In fact, there were no calls, no visitors. Probably the dullest night of my life. Oh, seems like we worried for nothing. I guess we found ourselves a new babysitter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you will take our check, won't you? <laughs> Dad, you're too funny. Oh, well, I'm pretty tired. Well, good night. Okay, good night, honey. Good night, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Sleep well. We ought to let Kelly babysit more often. Good way to keep her away from that dopey boyfriend of hers. Oh, Wally, you're too hard on Duffy. Oh, come on. I don't see what she sees in that little doofus. He dresses like a bum. He's in the slow reading group. And the way he talks. Yo, Mr. C, yo! Hey, give me a break. <laughs> Next thing you know, she'll be baking cookies and visiting him at Sing Sing. Childproof lock. I got it. Rip up my sheets, make a rope, and you can shinny down from the window. Who do you think I am, Zorro? <laughs> we're just gonna have to wait until they're asleep. Listen, there's something I gotta tell you. 
But Dad doesn't like me. You didn't know that? <laughs> he called me a doofus. Aw, oh, Duffy. No one likes you when they first meet you. You'll grow on him. Everything will be great. I promise. Hilly, have you seen... Oh! So what'd you find out? I got the whole scoop. Uncle Wally flipped out when he found Duffy in Kelly's room. Now she's never allowed to talk to him or see him ever again. And I thought Uncle Wally was cooler than that. You can't help it. All fathers are capable of doing stuff like that. It just sort of lies there beneath the surface until their daughters are old enough to start dating. Hi. You look terrible. Excuse me, I was crying all night. Yeah, I feel bad for you. So, uh... What were you and Duffy really doing in your room? Easy, I'm on your side, see? It's from Duffy. Hey, this is private. What's this word? Heart. What's this one, buckshot? Bloodshot. Here, let me read it. My dearest darling, my face is drawn, my eyes are bloodshot, and my heart is as empty as the zeros on my test papers. I lay awake at night calling your name until my dad comes and tells me to shut up. <laughs> Kelly, you're the only one who understands the real me, and that's the harvest part. The hardest part about being away from you. Goodbye, doll face. Forever. Duffy. Too bad we'll never get Uncle Wally to change his mind about Duffy. Maybe we can. Kelly, wait up. Bomber, don't you? Oh, look, Wally. Uh, look who's here. It's Bomber Haskell. Hmm. Afternoon, sir. And Mrs. Cleaver, it's easy to see where your daughter gets her beauty. And fine bod. And uh, what uh, brings you to town, Bomber? And when are you leaving? There was an unscheduled recess at the military academy after a fire wiped out the officer's quarters. How nice. And you got to come home. Yeah, they gave me two weeks to prepare for the inquiry. Oh, don't bother making dinner for us. Bomber's gonna take me out to that cute little roadhouse under the expressway. Ciao. Do we have any aspirin? I can't believe it. Hey, Wally, what's the matter? Bomber Haskell. I just found him with my daughter. In her bedroom? No. Yeah, then what are you worried about? Beaver, we're talking about Bomber Haskell. You know how he got his name, don't you? He didn't actually make that bomb. He just lit that fire a little too close to the propane tank. Well, tell that to old man Oakley. You know, he stuck his life savings into that motor home. Hey, good looking. <laughs> You big lug, you. <laughs> I just heard the good news. I always told my boys, it's just as easy to fall in love with a rich girl as a poor girl. And for once, one of them listened to me. Hey, take it easy, Eddie. This thing with Bomber and Kelly isn't going to last. Yeah, these long-distance romances just don't work out. So I'm pulling him out of military school, putting him back in school here, so the little lovebirds can perch together. <laughs> Friends for life. And soon, familia. <laughs> Mom, how could this happen? How could my daughter wind up with Bomber Haskell? You know what happened. 
You caught Kelly and Duffy in an innocent mistake and you overreacted. He shouldn't have been there in the first place. Well, maybe not. But after you banished him, did you really expect her to bring home somebody that you'd approve of? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Get out on my hands and knees and beg the little worm to come back? Well, I hear the bomber is sure some dancer. <laughs> Hey, Uncle Wally. Hey. I just miss Bomber and Kelly. <laughs> Cute couple. <laughs> Not for long. Yo. So, Mr. Cleaver, you wanted to see me? Uh, yeah. Hey, Duffy, what do you say we grab a booth, huh? Get it? Grab a booth? And yeah, stop it, Duffy. You're killing me. How have you been? Pretty miserable since you gave me the old heave-ho. Yeah, well, look, uh, about that, maybe I did overreact a little bit. But look, how would you feel if, uh, if you came home and, and found your mother with a strange man? I told you. <laughs> Here you go, guys. On the house. Hey, how you doing, Duffy? Yo! <laughs> It's clean, Kip. Uh, look, uh, Duffy, I guess what I'm trying to say is that, um, <clears throat> I made a mistake. Uh, let's let bygones be bygones. Wipe the slate clean. <laughs> what do you say, Duff man? Huh? Your sudden change of heart wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that Kelly's cutting the rug with Bomber Haskell, would it? All right, look, I'm gonna give it to you straight. Bomber goes back to military school, you get back together with Kelly, I'm off the hook, and everybody's happy. Thanks, Mr. C, but you never wanted your daughter hanging around with such a little doofus. Well, I think you just got your wish. Duffy, wait! Hey, it's not that I don't respect you, doofus. Duffy. It's just that it's hard for a father to think that he's losing his little girl. Heck, I'd probably hate whoever Kelly's first boyfriend was. Oh, thanks. I feel a lot better now. Uh, let's just pretend this whole thing never happened. What do you say? Deal? Sorry, Mr. Cleaver, but, you know, I may be a sloppy dresser and extort a little lunch money once in a while, but hey, I do have my pride. <laughs> hey, look, how about this? I've got a client who gets great tickets to all the major concerts. Huh? Nice try. <laughs> well, you, you know what else? I'm taking the family up to Shadow Lake for vacation this summer. Hey, man, we have a great time up there. And, uh, you're welcome to join us. <laughs> we go water skiing all the time. Hey, I'll even let you drive the boat. <laughs> I'll pay you. Oh, hi, everybody. Hi. That's it? No, how was your day, or uh, what did you bring me? What did you bring me, Dad? Not you. Let Kelly ask. What did you bring me, Dad? Oh, uh, just this. Duffy! Dollface! <laughs> See, a happy ending. I told him my plan would work. Yeah, I guess compared to Bomber, He's almost bearable. <clears throat> hey! All right, that's it. You stay away from my daughter. You got that, you little doofus? <laughs> Must be on my way. Sir, you. Uh, who's there? It's me, your other son. Uh, sorry, didn't recognize your voice. Understandable, sir. 
Well, I must be on my way, so I'd like to settle my tab. Yeah, hey, don't worry about it. I'll bill you. <laughs> well, too bad about that little Cleveland chick. Yeah, but we'll even things up on Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a bus to catch, so take care, sir. Oh, hey, I didn't tell you the good news. We finally saved up enough for that trip to Hawaii we've always dreamed about. Really? Yeah, two weeks. Condo on the beach, grass skirts, the whole nine yards. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure your mother will send you a postcard. Tomorrow at 6.35 Eastern, it's a special behind-the-scenes look at Mayfield, as you've never seen it before, on the new Leave it to Beaver. Now, Rod Taylor hurdles himself into the unknown and a future that is yet to be, aboard the Time Machine, next on the Superstation. <laughs>